Hello guys, this is Anish Rija with another tutorial and this is on on getting the correct timings and everything and a lot of cool tips for you guys also and yeah so first of all let's make a cube I'll make a cube because it's just you just watch and you learn um, and okay so keyframe and let's move it along the Y and Z axis because I like the Z axis. Okay, so move it there. Actually, let's move it a little further because I like it further. Okay, so we got these basic keyframes, and as you can see, these okay, these small dots they represent each frame. So when we move it here, the cube moves to each of these dots like that, and as you can see, it slows down at the end. So this is basically the basics. Um, I'll just go through the basics because some of you don't know. So go into the animation layout, which is what I do normally, and then I spread it out like this. Um, so if you can't see a cube keyframes here, like I can't see it right now, you just grab it in like that, and yeah, you have it. So it's the basic controls is hold down two to zoom in and out, and hold down one to drag and everything. Okay, the reason why you need this, these keyframes to move around is because when you have big, big files and stuff, uh, big keyframes like heck has a lot of uh, objects moving with this one keyframe, you need to use this. If you use this one, the lag is like crazy. And then when you use this one, there's no lag whatsoever. Um, okay, that's done. And by the way, the summary is basically all of your keyframes. And then you have yeah, uh, if you select everything, you can change it to a linear, which is um, so you don't you can see that it doesn't slow down and stuff, or you can change it to step, which is basically um, yeah that you can use it for cameras and stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna put a linear because I like linear. <laughs> okay, and uh, now let's go through some cool timings and how to get the timings good so go into this mode over here and just to make it easier I'm gonna make a new new setup so let's do something like this get rid of the materials because I don't really need it uh, let's go to window timeline so we got it right here I'm just gonna put it over here because yeah, so now we have a cube here and going to this mode. If you open up the cube, we have the position which is not appearing. It's because I'm not at zero. Okay, there. So that's basically the y axis. The green line is the y axis. And uh, I zoom out a little more. Okay, so you see these lines here. What this does is it controls the let me see like the cube controls where it is. So if you move, so this is the 18th frame. Um, if I wanted to, so hold control and click on the green line to add another keyframe, and then you can ch like change it on the y-axis if it's green. So that's the y-axis. The red is the x-axis when it's dotted it means there's no movement whatsoever and if it's like a, a solid line yeah and so you can always like you move you hold control and click and you can make that you select it you can change to a linear so yeah and yeah it already adds a keyframe for you pretty easily um delete it if you like and yeah, uh, you can change the axis. It snaps, don't worry, to each frame. If you move it here, then it, you can. Ah, no, it doesn't snap. It's just, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, it's a really cool thing to use. You can even you look, change it to a, like that. You can see how, what are all the possibilities of this. It's basically like C motion, but a little more complex I would say I'm not sure um but yeah it's a lot faster so I'm gonna make a quick little you can even select the keyframe here 
and move it around. Um, or select each one individually like that or you just select the folder or something and then the same for rotation and everything so I'm gonna make a quick little animation using this so hold control on the lines then hold control then oh on the it, it it's it um oh whatever so I'm gonna make something like it falling up oh, in the green one then oh I need the yeah I need to click on the red green line to get how do I get the oh I have to select the keyframe okay and then you do something like that <laughs> yeah not the best but yeah you see the and you can even spread it out or going back into this mode and then select everything and just drag it out whatever you like not too much lag I have to yet um, explode this one I do not know what this is uh, motion mode no idea if you, if you know what it is just tell me um, yeah that's basically it Hope you found this interesting. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. I never, I just realized, I just found, figured it out like a few days ago, and it's really cool. Okay, so thanks for watching, and bye.